Yo! I mean, that's, just, that's just how it starts, but there's no rhyme or reason for it. It was creation. I guess. If this is a Christian movie, so help me. Oh, please, go away. I hate that sound. It sounds like a mosquito. It sounds like a mosquito buzzing around in my ear. I hate that. Kill it already. Yeah. Bird police. The bird police? Is she pregnant? Um, is she pregnant? Look at her feet. This is weird looking. Wake up. They're coming. Whoa, okay. Whoa. That that was weird. <laughs> that per how dare you, movie? That was that was really weird. What's your name? God, look at her. What's, what's look, your name, love? What what? Her design is so weird because it looks like her beak just goes right into her face. Like yeah, because they're trying to make her look like really cute and sexy, but she's a bird. Like we need her lips. Can we give her some lipstick? And no, fuck the beak. Birds don't really have those anyway. So let's. Ugh, this is weird. <laughs> look at look at her face. It's like a human face, but they kind of like stretched her lips out to make her look more like a bird. Well, it doesn't help that she has very human looking eyes. Whoa. <laughs> that front facing shot. What the fuck is this? Birds with technology. Condor! Protects us from the horror! That bird has a bald spot. I wasn't gonna say it. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> Jeremy Irons has to be. He's got like a Winston Churchill jowls. Thanks to you. Nice to you, brave Condor. Oh my God, that looks horrible. <laughs> this is awful. <laughs> You're little. Oh, oh, They're little but too gigantic. Oh my god, please don't squash the egg. Why are they all eating their eggs at the same time? What is that? Like, onions? Those, those all oh no. Like onions. I thought they were eggs, but they do look like onions, don't they? Oh, be careful. How are they Let not getting go. smashed? Like, you just throw them around like that. There's a lot of flightless birds there, too. Oh no! Yeah, I was gonna say, can peacocks fly? Great, onions. Is it onions or are they like. Maybe mangoes? they're like fruit. Those are not mangoes. I don't know, man. More meat <laughs> Whoa, that was fast. Oh my gosh. You're not getting away from me this time. Oh Whoa, the action. Whoa. Dude, they got blasted into the Andromeda galaxy. <laughs> Is that an airplane contrail? Maybe it's a rocket ship. It's a what? Maybe it's a rocket ship. I think it's a spaceship. What the fuck is this? I mean, they look like they're out in space. That's loud. Oh. <laughs> things are definitely happening. Wait, where are we? It just flung them into like a church or something. There's like no establishing shots really that tell us what the fuck's going on. Dude, double foot head smack. <laughs> dude, dude, this this dynamic choreography. Save your darling. Will you do as I ask? Whatever you want. Uh oh. No, <laughs> honey, that's, don't. That's <laughs> that's no, 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 no. Don't just blindly agree. You need to thing. ask first. Do you want that in writing? <laughs> I have a pen and I can cut my finger, my wing open. I don't use it for anything else. I can sign some paperwork. <laughs> what? This movie's trying to be so cerebral and deep. I mean. It's almost working. It's the visuals that hold it back. It's the visuals. Yeah. It looks far too derpy and weird. And they were trying to make it look inspired and different, it ain't working. What? What are any of these characters? Wait. I remember Bird of Bad. He's in the city or whatever. What's this bossing say? Wow. They're like at the dump or something. It's like a utopia. Everybody, their bodies are all over the place, jumping. Stop touching things, like Dee Dee. This does feel more like a video game. Right, I'm telling you, it 
What the? It's so weird. It feels like a video game. It does. The horror. There's like this game that I saw like critical playing, um, where like you climb up stuff to the top of like the sky. Uh, I forget what it's called, but this movie kind of reminds me of that a bit with how like. Uh, Fez. I don't know. Um, only up. I think people are oh, saying. Only up. Okay. Yeah, because everything seems so out of place and like almost like ethereal. And I'm kind of getting those vibes here a bit. I'm not sure if chat knows what I'm talking about. There's no but I think everyone can agree with us. Like this feels on. very video gamey, or that it would work a lot better if it was a video game. Check it's it very out. Short too. It's very short. It's only a few hours long. Call yourself a mechanic. There is no way I'm anyone in the chat knows what I'm talking about, then I appreciate you. What? So like I was trained to Hogwarts. Did they just die? Oh my god, they died. Oh. <laughs> That's bullshit. They would have been squashed flat. Is there like a propeller behind them? What is this movie saying? I don't know. Wait, how are the tracks working? It's just fucking Doctor it's Strange. Just, it's just like Doctor Strange, that's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> yeah. Some animators are like, we're so fucking brilliant. This movie's trying to be so deep. I we're mean, like Fantastic it's Planet. It's certainly... God, I wish we could just watch that. Can we watch Fantastic Planet instead? I love that movie. Not tonight. Is that a fucking, like, boat? Half boat? The lighthouse? I don't know. Wait, what's... What does it mean? I don't know. Peter Pan's boat, he just left it here. Oh, God. Oh, no, her egg's coming. Get the other end. No, get the other end. Yeah, I can't imagine a like, kid watching this. Oh, no. Did you know she ran into his mouth? Ah! Intercepted! I was gonna say, is she really gonna shoot it out in slow motion? Because it's just so confusing that it's like boring enough to fall asleep to. You. Uh, you can't skip forward. You can't do it. When does the credit start, though? Have I gone past the sun? On in. All right, we're almost there. <laughs> we just, just want to get this over with. I don't understand. I just want some resolution, please. I can't skip. This is what I crave in my stories. Finally. Yes. Yes. Chomp him. Wow. His brains. Aw, oh, come on. Ah. <laughs> 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 oh my god, finally, it's getting interesting. <laughs> uh, uh, that's, that's finally something good. Please, no, I don't want this. <laughs> Whee! Um. Oh my god, look at it go! This <laughs> is a car tinker. Well, I guess it is. Dude, that egg is huge. Kill me! It's the bird from last night! Ew. It really is. Uh, lady, I don't Ow. think so. Yeah, he looks. Really perfect. How they gonna fly for once? All right, I guess not. I guess it's him spreading his wings. Now. There we go. <laughs> just throws Throw him. Yeah, just, I, I'm a penguin. Plop. Hey, so ugly looking. Oh my god, it's so ugly. <laughs> I never realized we could fly. May your journey on, my friends. Oh, thank God. Yeah, there you go. Inspired by Conference of the Birds. Let me look at that. Let me see what that is real fast. Okay. That was, uh, that was weird. That was really weird. I, again, I felt like they had some really cool ideas in there. And that if it was executed in, like, maybe just a slightly simpler non super convoluted way that maybe it would have been easier to appreciate right 
Well, here and we... maybe he didn't look so but ugly. They looked awful. Um, Conference of the Birds, also known as, I can't read that, is a Persian poem. Uh, synopsis. In the poem, poem, the birds of the world gathered to decide who is to be their sovereign as they have, as they have none. The Hope, the wisest of them, suggests that they should find the legendary Simarag. The Hope leads the birds, each of whom represents a human fault, which prevents humankind from attaining enlightenment. Uh, the Hope tells the birds that they have to cross seven valleys in order to reach the abode of Simarag, whatever. These valleys are the Valley of the Quest, the Valley of Love, Knowledge, Attachment, Unity... Wonderment, poverty. Um, oh dear, I didn't catch any of that. <laughs> uh, Sounds pretty awesome, but that is not what I, what I got from, um, this movie. And me neither, <laughs> at all. I think we're just stupid. We, we can't understand uh, higher literature. The deep complexities of this masterful storytelling. The, says, what you're describing sounds pretty dope, but that does not sound like what you're just. It does not sound like you're describing what we just watched. Yeah, this is it says here. Um, it says Cholet Wolb writes when the birds hear the description of these valleys, they bow their heads in distress. Some even die of fright right then and there. But despite their trepidations, they begin the great journey. On the way, many perish of thirst, heat, or illness, while others fall prey to wild beasts, panic, or violence. Finally, only mm -hmm. 30 birds made it to the abode of Sim Simorg. In the end, the birds learn that they themselves are the Simorg. The name Simorg in Persian means 30. Um, 30 birds. Uh, they eventually come to understand that the majesty of the beloved is like the sun that can be seen reflected in a mirror. Yet whoever mm. nuts hold on. One review said critic Wendy Eyed <laughs> reported that the film eschews the source materials delicate layering mm. of symbolic illusion in favor of the baffling the assault of visual non sequiturs. Works says one review said critic uh, reported that the film quote eschews the source materials delicate layering of symbolic illusion in favor of a baffling assault of visual non sequiturs. I mean, yeah. Wow. Beautifully said. Um that sounds like it came from a critic. Uh, it says, but it's like the sun that can be seen reflected in a mirror. Yet whoever looks into that mirror will also behold his or her, her own image. So I guess it's saying that, like the birds at the start, you know, let's teach them they can fly. So I guess it's more of like you can, you're, you're seeking the sun and seeking higher meaning. And it turns out that your journey to that point is the higher meaning. Man, that could have been a cool story. I'm, yeah, like everything that you guys are saying sounds pretty awesome but that is definitely not what i got from this movie i think it was um horribly lost in translation damn this thing is old like a, like a millennia older than uh it's like uh and it was, they switched bc and ad to be like i think it's ce and ae now um i think ER. something like that but uh i'm pretty sure ce is still centered around like jesus so BC, I think. I might be wrong. I don't know when the historians switched that around, but yeah, it's old. That being said, a BCE and CE, okay. Before Common Age and Common Age, right? Isn't, I uh, let's ask in the chat, I think, because Common Age, does BCE and CE still Common Era? Does that still, does that still hinge around um, Jesus? Or is it, is it based on something else? So I thought BC and AD were like before Christ and after death. That's what I always thought too, but I have been told many times that that's not accurate. It still does, huh? Someone says uh, BC and CE, no one uses them because it still pivots around the incorrect birth of Jesus. Really? So it's still the same thing. It's kind of a moot point, huh? Well, okay.